Today we're going to show you how to change a tire on your Airstream. Now our Airstream is a dual axle trailer so these steps will probably be different if you have a single axle trailer but I want to walk through you the basic steps and how easy it is to change a, a tire on your Airstream or any dual axle trailer for that matter. So the tools you're going to need highly recommend you get a lug wrench like this. This is a T-wrench. It's just called a speed wrench. It has multiple sides so you always know you're going to find a size that will fit either your tow vehicle or your tow or your uh, trailer. Um, this is a good tool to hand. Just buy one, throw it in the back of your truck, behind the back seat or something like that. You'll always have it. I've had this one probably for 30 years. You are going to need to have a socket and a small extension like this. Our Airstream uses a 13 16 uh, lug on that so I have a socket that will fit that. Optional but you may need a breaker bar. This will allow you to break loose the lug nuts when they're tight. You use a combination of these two like this to either loosen or tighten the lug nuts. For your final tightening you want to use a torque wrench. This is a very old torque wrench but it's very usable and it's what I carry with me when we travel. You want to be able to tight, measure how tight your lug nuts are when you tighten them up and you're going to want to come back and re-tighten them after you drive a little bit because the wheel may shift and loosen up the lug nuts. So this is a very valuable tool. Um, you may be able to get all of these in a kit. I know Air, the Airstream Life Store sells a tire changing kit for about $150. It includes all three of these and it includes a more modern type of torque wrench. The newer ones, you set the torque on them and they click. This one just has a lever on it that points at how much torque you're doing. It's very simple, very effective, perfect for lug nuts. Um, if you want to get something more precise, then the newer ones are better for that. They even go up to ones that are digital. You can set in the uh, torque that you want digitally and it will beep at you. You're going to want to have some WD-40. We already had taken the wheel off of this to get it fixed and I noticed the lugs uh, bolts were pretty rusty and I had trouble getting them off so you want to make sure you have something type of lubricant when you tighten everything back up to make sure that they go on tight and they will come off again. You're going to want to have a set of your leveling blocks. This is the real key to not having to jack up your trailer. You're going to build a little bit of a ramp with these and you're going to drive the other wheel that you don't want to remove up on that ramp and then that will lift the one wheel up off the air and you'll be able to take it off and put the new tire on. In our case, we noticed that we had a leak in our tire before we got here. We were putting air in it every time we traveled. I checked the tire, found a screw in it. I took it to Discount Tire. They repaired the tire for me for free, which I thought was absolutely awesome. So I want to give them a shout out. If you never need any tire work while you're on the road, definitely consider going to Discount Tire to get that done. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our leveling blocks and we're going to build a little bit of a ramp. I'm going to build that and I'll show you what it looks like and then we're going to pull the trailer up on that and lift the wheel. But, before I forget, before you do all that, you want to loosen your lug nuts up while there's weight on the wheel. It's much easier to do it now. If you lift it up, then you're going to have an issue with the wheel spinning and you're going to have to use the brakes to hold it in place. So we're going to take our tie iron and we're going to loosen up all six lugs. These are multiple sizes. This is the 13 16 size. This is 7 8 3 quarter, and 3 quarter. So you have two 3 quarter inch sizes on here. Put the 13 16 on here. What's nice about this, it gives you a spot to put two hands on it and put leverage so you can push and pull at the same time and loosen them up. You want to move, loosen them up about a turn or half a turn. Now in my case, my lug nuts weren't very tight because I had just put the wheel on here when we got to this spot. I knew it wasn't going anywhere and so I just snugged them up. I didn't really torque them down with a torque wrench. So they were a little bit on the looser side. Now that we got that done, let's build a ramp. Can you get me help? I will.
Okay, so what you can see here, as I built the ramp, got it tight underneath the wheel, got it kind of jumping up a little bit quicker here with two two lever levels, but I want to get it up. I'm probably going to have it oh, about five inches off the ground, this wheel, which would take that wheel off the ground completely. So we're going to pull it forward. I'll get Diane to watch, and she will yell at me when I've got the tire sitting right up on top of here. Now you can see we've got the wheel up off the ground. I can spin it. So now we're going to remove the lug nuts, remove the spare tire. This is one of the reasons I like this type of wrench because it's easier to spin the wheels, the lug nuts off the um, lugs because you can, this spins nice. Lug nuts are off. Now so I can pull this, the tire off and put the new tire back on. Now, before I put the tire, the new tire back on, I'm going to spray all these down with WD-40. Got a little bit of corrosion going on here, and it's something I'm going to need to address in the future. And probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull each lug nut off of each stud one at a time and coat the studs with Never Seize. I found that works really well to make sure that you can always get your lug nuts on and off very easily. Because the worst thing you want to have is the need to change a tire on the side of a road on a rainy night, and these lug nuts are frozen on, and you might be stuck there for a while waiting for help. Okay, so I've positioned the tire in place. Now there's a couple of tricks to doing this. If you've got the strength, you can just lift it up and get it in place. Not everybody has the strength to do that. So one of the tricks that you can use is to slide in here like this with your feet and use your feet lift up the wheel just like that I didn't have to try to lift that up maneuver it in I just used pivot on my heels and use my foot to lift up and position this worked really well time to put the lug nuts back on I'm gonna give a sh just a small shot of WD-40 inside of each one not too much, just enough to get a little bit of coating. You want to hand tighten, hand start these so that you know they're threaded on there correctly. You're not going to cross thread. back with my T-wrench using my 13 16th side of it. Got a little bit of dirt in there. Get one of these started. And you just want to snug it up. There we go. Make sure you hit it the wheel a couple times. Make sure that it's seated against the brake drum. You also notice I'm going 
and a little bit of a crisscross pattern. I'm doing ones on each opposite sides. And that's because if you do them all, if you start and work your way around the circle, it may tend to wedge the rim a little bit against the brake drum. There. Everything is snugged, not tight, just snugged up. Now we can back it off of the ramps and tighten everything down. All right, now final step, we're going to tighten down the lug nut. And this I'm going to use the torque wrench. Again, using a crisscross pattern. Okay, I've gone around them all once, but they're not fully tightened. I've only tightened them up to partial. And that's because I want to come back a second time and finally tighten them up. Now every wheel has a different specification. Um, typically, wheels on a vehicle, a car or something, may be 80 foot-pounds. Unless it's a heavy-duty vehicle like a truck, then you might be 100. We're going to torque these to 100 foot-pounds. That's it. That's all you need to do to change a wheel on your travel trailer with a tandem axle. You don't need a jack. You need some basic tools and you can handle this yourself when you need to. If you get roadside assistance, you can always wait to have them come too. I hope you found this informative. If you did, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you've ever had an issue with a tire on your, your trailer and you've had to have change it. Let us know what you had to do. Till the next time guys, we see you down the road.